Hello, this is Scott from telecoms.com at 5G World. I'm talking to Graziano from Tim, formerly known as Telecom Italia. So Graziano, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what you do at Tim? Okay. Uh, I am responsible from uh, Wirex Assist Engineer and the devices, uh, and uh, we are currently work uh, strongly on uh, LTE deployment. We start uh, four years ago. In uh, at the end of uh, 2011, we acquire Spectrum, uh, 10 megahertz at 100, uh, uh, 5 megahertz at 1800, 15 megahertz at 2.6 gigahertz, and we start in 2012 the deployment. And the, uh, by the end of the 2015, we deploy more than. 10,000 uh, uh, inode B, and then we reach uh, a very big uh, coverage of population, 93%. And we have, we have a big plan uh, to deploy more than uh, other uh, 10,000 inode B in the next three years. Then, if you consider uh, um, 2020 as a date, reference date for 5G, yeah. we have we are in the middle uh, of the path because we start. Uh, four years ago with the LT okay. and we have other five years in which we have to starting uh, transformation toward 5G. We have a plan uh, uh, to introduce uh, narrowband IoT yeah. in order to, uh, next year, in order to move also IoT world, the machine to machine world toward yeah. uh, LT and 5G also in order to stop the grow of machine to machine on 2G that create a big legacy to okay. uh, the layering and the commissioning the, the legacy network and also to refarm the, the legacy spectrum right. that for us is very, okay. very important. And we start also with the uh, Volte in order to move not just uh, data traffic from uh, 3G to 4G but also voice traffic uh, in order to accelerate the commissioning of the legacy right. data. Then now we are very, very focused uh, on uh, LT. We uh, launched uh, first in Italy last year the three carrier aggregation in November okay. uh, 2015, uh, and we reached 300 megabit per second. But we want to reach this year uh, 500 megabit per second, leveraging of uh, uh, Band L that we acquired uh, last year, the 20 megahertz supplementary downlink, uh, and also leveraging on MIMO 4x4 right. and. Uh, uh, 256 uh, QAM. Then uh, I think that there are many, many things that we uh, can we can do uh, in order to create a smooth path between 4G yeah. and 5G. And uh, very important for us to protect our investment uh, and reuse uh, all the investment yeah. that we do in spectrum uh, and infrastructure uh, also for 5G. Yeah. So he. So there was, there was a lot of information there and. and it's interesting you're talking about narrowband IoT because um, there are a few sort of potential technologies that uh, wireless technologies that people are talking about for IoT, but but MB IoT is looking like it might be the sort of front runner. And it's also interesting what you're saying about achieving sort of 500 megabits per second, which is very yes. very high bandwidth. Is that is that like in the field? Is that real life? Uh, until now, no. But we have planned by the end of this year. Right. Well, that's yes. very good. So it looks like you're. Uh, you're getting a long way towards 5G already. Yes, yes, for sure. I think that uh, will be a, a smooth pa evolution path uh, because we have to, to leverage uh, all the investment with, that we do in, uh, in LTE in this year and uh, in the next uh, year and leveraging also in the very, very uh, fast uh, global ecosystem. Also in Italy, we have a strong migration of device uh, from 2G, 3G toward LTE, in right. particular smartphones. And then we have to leverage on this in order to decommission into G3G, yeah. refarm bandwidth, and also move uh, voice traffic and machine-to-machine -machine traffic, yeah. uh, preparing uh, uh, the IoT worlds uh, that come uh, that go toward the 5G, because I believe uh, in the um, uh, license spectrum. Then yeah. uh, we also have in place a tri uh, trial and also commercial. Uh, uh, overlay network with wireless and bus. We study LoRa, Sigfox, and the other solution, yeah. but we strongly believe in Narrowband IoT yeah. in order to acquire uh, a national coverage uh, just with the software upgrade of the LTE network. I think that this will be a first big step toward uh, 5G, reusing uh, existing uh, uh, 800 LTE coverage. Brilliant. Okay, well, that was fascinating. Thank you very much.
So I was talking to Graziano from Tim. This is Scott, telecoms.com.